debt to be promoted. Sander! Mort! Closing special trust and confidence in the fidelities and abilities of Brian M. Pritchard. I do appoint Cadet Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Marine Corps. Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps to rank as such from 16 August 2019. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the grade to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto pertaining. And I do strictly charge and require those officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer is to observe and follow such orders and directions as may be given from time to time by superior officers acting in accordance with the rules and articles governing the conduct of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training. This commission is to continue in force for the time being under the provision of those regulations relating to officers of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps and the component thereof in which this appointment is made, given under my hand at Marine Military Academy, Harlingen, Texas, Sergeant Major Gary J. Bass, Commandant of Cadets. So he wants to look just like that, okay? And he'll readjust them anyways once he gets to the room. Mr. Pritchard. Yes, sir. Sergeant Major Gary J. Bass, Commandant of Cadets. And it's okay for the mother to give him a hug and a kiss, too, if you'd like. <laughs> Post. March. Cadet be to be promoted. Center. March. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. To all she has seen these presents greetings, know you that we're posing special trust and confidence in the fidelities and abilities of Maxwell E. Fortin. I do appoint Cadet Major in the United States Marine Corps, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, to rank as such from the 16th of August, 2019. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the grade to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto pertaining. And I do strictly charge and require those officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer is to observe and follow such orders and directions as may be given from time to time by superior officers acting in accordance with the rules and articles governing the conduct of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. This commission is to continue in force for the time being under the provision of those regulations relating to officers of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps and the component thereof in which this appointment is made. Given under my hand at Marine Military Academy, Harlingen, Texas, Sergeant Major Gary J. Bass, Commandant of Cadets. Thank you. That's, that's perfect. We'll let it go, and he'll he'll adjust it when he gets back into the barracks. We're gonna get a nice family photo here in a second. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Mr. Fortin, you're allowed to smile when your mother hugs you and kisses you. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. I think required even a better word would be chosen. Here's the other. Thank you. I'll take all that. Thank you. Close for a photo right here. Right here, please. Right here, please. Right this one. I'm going to slide this, shake your hand, slide this in. It's important. I have a complete faith and confidence in your abilities as the executive officer of this battalion and the Corps cadets. Yes, sir. We'll let you down. Don't let the Corps down. Hand over, sir. You can count on that. Good luck. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Post. March. 
Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Blanco. You all shall see these presents greeting. Know you that are posing special trust and confidence in the fidelity and abilities of Adrian Blanco Valencia. I do appoint this Cadet Sergeant Major in the United States Marine Corps, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, to rank as such from the 16th of August, 2019. This appointee will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the grade to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto pertaining. And I do strictly charge and require those personnel of lesser rank to render obedience to appropriate orders. And this appointee is to observe and follow such orders and directives as may be given from time to time by superiors acting in accordance with the rules and articles governing the conduct of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, given under my hand at Marine Military Academy, Harlingen, Texas, Sergeant Major Gary J. Bass, Commandant of Cadets. Who's do you have? Game worn. Congratulations. Thanks, Proud of you. Thank you Shake hands with him. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Slide that baby in. Okay. You know what you're doing now. You're working yourself up to be the battalion commander next year. Right now, you learn from him and you lead as the senior and the junior of this Corps of Cadets. Sir. Big responsibility, Mr. Bronco. Thanks, sir. You, know, you can do it, Bill, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks, sir. Carry on, Mr. Bronco. Post. March. March time. March. Detail. Hold. Left. Hey. Present. Arms! Good morning, sir. Order! Arms! To all who shall see these presents greetings, know that you're posing special trust and confidence in the fidelities and abilities of Jaden M. Massengel, Luke H. Martin, Eric B. Reyes Mejia, Ryan A. Barber, and Palayo Martinez Rodriguez. I do appoint Cadet Captain and the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps to rank as such from the 16th day of August, 2019. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the grade to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto pertaining. And I do strictly charge and require those officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer is to observe and follow such orders and directions as may be given from time to time by superior officers acting in accordance with the rules and articles governing the conduct of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. This commission is to continue in force for the time being under the provision of those regulations relating to officers of the United States Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps and the component thereof in which the appointment is made. Given under my hand at Marine Military Academy, Harlingen, Texas, Sergeant Major Gary J. Bass, Commandant of Cadets. Richard, up here, please. Yes, sir. There's no doubt about it. You can do this. Yes, sir. 
Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Fair enough. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. She knows how to do the car better than I do. <laughs> Oh. Huge responsibility there, brother. Yes, sir. Can you get Very a picture of Yes. Go ahead and get a picture. Here. You can smile. There you go. Barbara, how you doing? Yes, you ready for this, brother? Yes, oh, look at you. Congratulations, Brian. Thanks, you. Good job. Thank you. Love you. Can you see pictures real quick? How are you, sir? Good, yeah, sir. I'm not going to shake your hands just yet. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good. Good. Two GPA for the for your company. Yes, sir. It's a high standard. It's gonna be higher than that, I promise sir. Okay, I know I can count on this one too much. Job well done. Thanks. Look forward to working with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Ready, send, arms. Order, arms. Congratulations to the company officers, to the battalion commander, battalion XO, and Sergeant Major, parents, faculty, and staff, members of the Corps cadets. Well, I salute you. Thank you very much for coming, moms and dads and, and family members. You've done a remarkable job with your sons. The staff has done a remarkable job shaping them. And you guys are going to have a job where you're going to shape 240 plus cadets this year. So I have all the faith and confidence in your abilities. And in just a short period, we're going to promote the rest of the Corps leadership, platoon commanders, and gunnery sergeants and first sergeants. So good luck, and I look forward to working with you. Somebody Bass. Just a couple of quick things, sir. Thank you. Hey, uh, I do want to tell the parents that are here, thank you so much for coming out. It's Your, your presence is so important to your boys. And uh, I, I personally could not be more proud of those boys and those boys out there. And right before this event, the Colonel and I listened to all these boys spoke in front of a large group, and it was so impressive to see their ability to speak in public. And they presented us with their objectives for the school year and their goals. So I encourage those parents that are here to ask your son about the kind of stuff that they told us and the goals that they have set for themselves. It's most impressive and even more impressive than the fact they were able to build PowerPoints and hand us uh, a professional product was their ability to stand in front of their peers and deliver it. 
So you should be very proud of them. I'm so entirely proud of this entire group that we have out here, and I look forward to a great school year. So thank you all for coming out. Please, uh, they're free. Go give them your hugs and greet them. Thank you very much for coming.